Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to another video on Gran Turismo 7. It's again Thursday, which means we have new lap time challenges in the game, so let's check out the details. And with the update 1.49 we have on one side the Eiger Nordwand in the Subaru Impreza Rally car of 98. And on the other hand we have the Tokyo Expressway East clockwise in the Ferrari 430 Scuderia. Let's focus on the Eiger Nordwand first. And the current record is a 102.9, which means we have to be the 104.8. So let's get on track and try to do this. Starting your lap, take a good amount of speed out of the last corner in fourth gear and then go for short shifting because the car has a lot of torque. Going downhill in sixth gear, your first brake marker is where the line on the left has a little cutout. Go hard into the brakes, keeping it in a straight line and downshifting to second gear. Now keep it really narrow in this right-hander and at the exit of the right-hander give a short power input followed by brake input immediately again down to first gear shortly for some more rotation on the front axle and then up to third to get out of this left-hander. Your next brake marker is next to the marshal on the left. Again brake hard in a straight line and go down to second gear. You can also use first for some more rotation if you feel like it but second gear should also work well. Short power input, again braking to keep it narrow on this left-hander up to fourth gear and early as possible back to the power to accelerate through. Now again use short shifting and keep it on the left of the track and then your next brake marker is the very last marshal on the left-hand side. Now brake hard in a straight line and go down to third gear before turning in, otherwise you will have oversteer and then early back to fourth gear and now hit for the apex so you can go flat out without hitting any barrier on the left-hand side. Now short shift up to 5th gear and up to 6th gear and at this very little jump lift the accelerator pedal and go for some sensitive brake input for the right hander. After that immediately back to the power and if you feel you're going wide you can slightly lift the accelerator pedal again as well for this left hander. Now flat out again and then your next brake marker is if you go straight here before you touch the shadow area. Brake hard in a straight line again, going over the gravel area, down to third gear, let the car go a little bit wide before upshifting to fourth and then back to the power and over the finish line. And for those driving in chase cam, let's quickly review the lap from this one. So going over the finish line in fourth gear, make sure you do short shifting because the car has a lot of torque. Position the car to the left and then at the cutout of this line, go hard in a straight line into the brakes, down to second gear, keep it narrow, short power input, braking again, keep it narrow in this left hander, up to third and then back to the power shortly. At the marshal, back to the brakes, keep it narrow again, you can use first gear, then back to second, short power input and then for the left hander again, keep it narrow, up to fourth gear and back to the power. Now accelerate through, short shifting up to 6th gear while keeping it on the left hand side, then the last marshal on the left is your brake point. Brake hard in a straight line and go down to 3rd, let the car go a little bit wide before upshifting to 4th and hitting for the apex to go flat out. Again short shifting up to 6th gear and at a small jump lift the pedal and give a sensitive brake input to turn into the right hander, keeping it in 6th gear, you can slightly lift to get the corners right and not go wide. And then before touching the shadow area here, go hard in the brakes, straight line again and down to third gear before upshifting to fourth and back to the power and over the finish line, hopefully getting gold and two million credits. And that's it. One lap on the new track, the Eiger Nordwand in the Subaru Impreza. It's a lot of fun, but I really have to say it was quite tough. So let me know in the comments how you handled this challenge and as usual if this video helped you out feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel to not miss the video in the Ferrari on Tokyo Expressway. I will be uploading this one soon and for now I say thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.